Airbnb is bad. Who says Airbnb is bad? Would you believe it? Those who compete against Airbnb. Much like ride-sharing services such as Uber or Lyft, anywhere Airbnb operates, it ends up with a fight on its hands. Airbnb is a service that allows people who have houses, condos, or cottages to rent to people who need accommodation. It's all about the free market, as my business analyst friend Lou Skeezus likes to say, happy capitalism. The likes of Uber and Lyft always get blowback from the crappy cabbie sector and those politicians who are in the pockets of the taxi industry. As for Airbnb, it is also running into resistance from, believe it or not, <laughs> the hospitality sector. The latest outrage group to vent about Airbnb is an organization which represents lodge owners in Manitoba called the Manitoba Lodges and Outfitters Association. It is calling for new regulations and standards in the province for people who rent out their homes and cottages through sites like Airbnb. And to get its message out, it asked member businesses last weekend to participate in a one-day strike. Now, just think about the logic in that for just a second. Say I was someone looking for accommodation at a Manitoban lodge last Saturday, only to be told that the inventory had been taken off the market as a way of protesting Airbnb. Alrighty then. What would I have to do to get a roof over my head that night? Well, the Manitoba Lodges Association has effectively forced me to make arrangements with <laughs> Airbnb. What a brilliant strategy. This association conducts a protest in which they force customers to embrace the service that they're protesting against. For some reason, I don't think Stephen Hawking is running the Manitoba Lodges and Outfitters Association. It's no different than those cities in which the cab companies took their cabs off the road to protest Uber, thereby not only forcing people in need of a ride to use Uber, but also generate millions of dollars in awareness about Uber for those who had never heard of Uber, thereby increasing Uber's customer base. Brilliant. As the old saying goes, the only constant is change. If I want to sublet my car or my abode, then so be it. The tech exists to facilitate that now. But the traditional players who are used to having a monopoly or an oligopoly on these services are still living in yesterdecade, kicking and screaming about the realities of the 21st century and the sharing economy. There's also a degree of entitlement at play here by these traditional industries along the lines that they're owed a living because, well, was always thus. This is what I call mustard economics. Check it out. Look, what is the first thing you buy in a baseball game? A hot dog? A hot dog. <laughs> Without mustard? Mm -mm. Mustard goes with a hot dog. Not with mine. Mustard was made for the hot dog. Now, but look, I don't like mustard. Mustard and the hot dog go together. Let them go together. I don't want to spoil any romance. Do you, do you know they spend millions of dollars every year to put up factories just to manufacture mustard? Do you know those factories employ thousands and thousands of men just to manufacture mustard? You know those men take care of thousands of families and homes, all on account of mustard? And you, just because you don't like mustard, what do you want them to do? Close those factories down and put all those people out of work? Yeah, the people who represent the taxi and hospitality business are beholden to mustard economics theory, which is to say, even if the consumer doesn't like the established industries, the consumer nevertheless should support those industries because hey, people in those industries need to make a living whether their service is desired or not. It's not what's right for you as the consumer, but what's right for them as the provider. But mustard economics doesn't work when it comes to condiments. And what the likes of the Manitoba Lodges Association needs to realize is that it also won't work for them either. For the Rebel.media, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Hey folks, The Rebel has an all-new fall lineup. Please visit therebel.media shows and check it out.